Hey, what is up everyone? This is Private Mittens and I'm going to do my pickup video for August of 2019. Sorry that I haven't done a video in like, I think it's like two weeks. Um, my PlayStation Plus ran out and I wasn't going to record the games I was playing as they were new games this year and I didn't want to spoil anything like I played through for them. But I did get through like three brand new games this year so... That means to get more and more onto the list at the end of the year if I do my game of the year list, so... Yeah, if you want to know what I was actually playing, it was Metro Exodus, Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night, um, Crash Bandicoot, CTR, which I'll get to that soon, because obviously I got it this week, uh, month, sorry. Um, shit, I can't even remember what the other game was. Oh, even though it didn't come out this year, Mass Effect Andromeda is another game I've been, I've been playing. Um, but yeah, so pretty weird pick up this month I mean it's mainly games I've got haven't played or I want just to have that I'll never play them so I'll explain when I start so we'll start with uh, we'll start with the only Game Boy game I got a Game Boy game uh, so I found Driver on Game Boy uh, I obviously did have Driver on PS1 but Devil wanted it so I said to Devil okay I'll trade it to you so he got driver one off me and i actually find this and i was like oh okay i'm gonna grab it on game boy fuck it so yeah paid five dollars for it so it's pretty cool it's uh not as good as the ps1 or the pc version but it's not bad for game boy i've got to give it credit where credit's due so five dollars for driver on P uh ps1 game boy Game Boy Color, but I call it Game Boy. Um, uh, we'll go with the PlayStation 3 games. I'm definitely leaving them to last. <laughs> um, so, uh, if you remember from my last pickups, uh, they were doing like the 2 for, uh, the, the 5 for 20 and all that kind of stuff. So, some of these I actually did get with that deal. So, I'll explain that in a minute. But this is the only... PS3 game I got outside of that deal, which I got from like a cash converter. So I actually got my hands on Armored Core 5. Not an easy game to get anymore. Armored Core V for Victory is actually easier to get than this. Uh, Armored Core is amazing. Come on from software. Armored Core 6. We want Armored Core. Um, yeah. It's the only Armored Core besides this and 5. And I haven't really played for answers because it's just never got the time, but I last one I played was Armored Core 4, and I fucking loved it, so, yeah. Really hoping they make a 6, and I only paid $5 for that. So, off to a really good start, I got this and the Game Boy game at the same place, so I was surprised that they were the same price, but, oh well. So $5 for that. So, the other PS3 games are the the deal thing I was talking about, but there's also a few others that aren't in the PS3 section that were a part of the deal, so I'll explain the PS3 ones and then I'll get to the other ones when I get to them, so the 5 for, or the 3 or 5 for 20, I can't remember what it was, but, uh, so we have one, two, three, four. Well, it was 4 for 20, that's what it was. 4 for 20. So, the first PS3 game that was a part of that, I, I, I had everything there. I'm not even joking. Yeah, I, besides two games, I had everything there for the PS3. So this is one of the ones I didn't have. That is Start the Party. It's a bit banjaxed on the fucking like, cover, like the actual paper. But I'm probably never going to fucking play this, to be completely honest with you. It's a... Mini games, I suppose that's what it is. It's uh, it's like family mini games along the lines of say like Raven Rabbits. Um, so this is a part of that deal. So four for twenty. So didn't say it's five bucks. I suppose it's really what you could say. But yeah, sure, five for five bucks. That's what it was, sure. Because if it's four for twenty, they're five bucks each. Really, to be honest with you. Uh, this I didn't have, but this is something I do want to have. So this is practically the only PS3 game out of this whole deal that I wanted. So, yeah. That is 
sing star guitar it's the only sing star add-on that i didn't have that they had um i only like four uh, songs on the disc to be completely honest with you um you can be the judge of what songs you like but if you want to pause the video and have a look um there's your songs um yeah but five bucks i'm, I'm cool with that um yeah five bucks <laughs> so the last two the reason i bought these is because i actually have them sealed and if you've watched my ps3 collection video you know what they are you probably know what they are devil knows what they are since i just mentioned it but i find well i picked up because i didn't have anything else on the ps3 to buy literally the only other games they had that i didn't have were madden games nhl uh basketball games uh rugby and cricket and i thought to myself i don't want any of these games at all on my collection vifa is the only sports games besides tennis that i want on my ps3 collection that's a main series sport that's not motorsport so well afl as well but i'm talking fucking you know worldwide releases um so i've got these instead which i already have so that is final fantasy 13 uh, i have it sealed on ps3 collection should i say i've bought day one and i actually have played this because someone's going to turn around and say if it's sealed how did you play it devil bought it day one as well took it around to my house because devil was staying over for the weekend and we played it and yeah <laughs> the less said about 13 the better uh yeah everyone knows what 13 is it's fucking abysmal uh good music and graphics that's all it's really got going for it but according to Dreamcast guy, it's worse than Type Zero. Uh, it's better than Type Zero, so uh, that was five bucks as well. And the other game is X2. I also have it sealed, but it's the only. So it means if I ever decide to play them again, I can just play these versions without having to touch the uh, ones that are sealed. Uh, I never played X2 or 13. 3, so. I don't know what they're like. I've heard this is actually better than the other two, so not saying much um yeah i suppose i'll get around to playing it why is it so heavy fuck me that is a really thick booklet um but yeah i'll probably get around to playing them sometime these this one and this uh the third part because i actually never played them so play 13 but i've never played these two which i've heard this is better than 13 and 3 but it's 13 now <laughs> um so yeah five bucks so they're all the PlayStation 3 games. There was them four, excluding Armored Core, were all five bucks. And the others that are Xbox and Wii were a part of the deal as well. So when I get to them, I'll explain they're a part of the deal as well. So we have three DS games. We have Dragon... Oh, fuck me, that name. Uh, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Harukanas Naru Denetsu. Yeah, um, that's, I bought this because I thought, why, why not, um, paid 10 bucks for it, it's a card Dragon Ball Z game, so for anyone that is well aware, this is probably similar to Kingdom Hearts, uh, the Game Boy Advance game with the cards, I think this is what this is sort of been, uh, yeah, I don't really like the Dragon Ball Z games that are spin-offs to their main entries. Uh, I, I prefer the console releases like PS1, PS2, GameCube, you know, all that there, PS3 and all that there. Um, the spin-offs usually aren't very good. Uh, there, is some of, there is exceptions though, but I don't know about this. Uh, yeah, 10 bucks for a game that I'm probably not going to play. Especially considering how Funimation's getting on at the moment. Uh, so yeah, ten bucks. This game I thought I had, but I remembered it was the Wii version I had. So this is the first game that I mentioned that I only already had, besides the Final Fantasies, of course. But this is one of the games I also only already have that I've played. I should say, besides thirteen. But yeah, uh, Rhythm Heaven. 
I have this on Wii. Really, really good game on Wii. I don't know about this version, but who knows? I've heard it's good on this version, uh, on the DS as well. So, yeah. It's... It's a min... It's... Think of WarioWare. That's... That's what it is. I'm just trying to think. There's a 3DS version of this as well, I believe. I don't have it, I don't think, but... My three, my DS, 3DS games are down here. That's why I'm having a look. Um, no, I don't think I do have it on DS, 3DS. I think, yeah. I know there's a 3DS version of this as well, but, yeah. That was 10 bucks as well. This was on the same shelf as the Dragon Ball of the game. But, uh, if it's anything like it's, P uh, it's Wii version, it's going to be fucking great. So, yeah. The last one, this one I actually ordered from uh, eBay, so this is something I actually sought out for myself. That is Final Fantasy Crystal Bearers... Ah, uh, Crystal Bearers. Crystal Chronicles. That's because of the Wii version. Uh, Crystal Chronicles Echoes of Time. I am missing the GameCube, the other DS version, and I believe the Game Boy Advance version. Uh, Devil has the other DS version for me, and I'm getting that off him. Um, and I also have the Wii version, which... I will talk about in a video someday. I, I fucking love the, the Wii version. I really do. Um, but yeah. I've never really played any other Crystal game besides the Wii version. So it would be interesting to see. Um, there's the back. Yeah, the fucking stickers. If I ever get the cunt that made stickers, I'd break his fucking legs, I swear. I hate stickers. Um, I paid 25 for that. I think that was a pretty good deal because... It's going to be hard getting some of these soon. Especially, I mean, DS games in general. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to actually enjoy playing it, so... Yeah. So, yeah. That's the other DS game I have. Um, I'll do the one PSP game I think. Uh, I have a friend that uh, has... Like, he's a big Final Fantasy fan. And he was selling a lot of his stuff. Because he was, you know needed the money so uh, I grabbed three stuff off him so the first they're actually all in different systems but the first thing I bought off him was Dissidia 2 or as it's actually known Dissidia du Duo Decime Final Fantasy which is Dissidia 2 uh, the collector's edition which is comes with art cards which are still sealed by the way because he says he never opened them he just played the game and used the DLC I don't care for the DLC it's just a costume for Tifa and Squall. And also you get a voucher for Final Fantasy 1, which I already have. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Dissidia 2 I've had before on my PSP when I lived in the UK. Uh, Dissidia 2 is fucking fantastic. And when he said he had the collector's edition that he's going to get rid of, I thought, I'll buy it off you. And he goes, yep, yeah, sure. So I paid 40 bucks for this. And I'm really happy because the art cards are still sealed and that means I got the game again. So, yeah, really happy with that. Um, he said to me, oh, you get Final Fantasy 1's code and the DLC, but I've used them already. And I just says, I don't care for the costumes. And as I said, I got Final Fantasy 1. I just want the art cards in the game. And he goes, yep, yeah, they're all good. And you can see he's took really good care of it. So, yeah. Really happy. Um, so I'll get to the rest of the, uh, you know, the 4 for 20. And you'll see the other two Final Fantasy stuff that I got off him later. So another 4 for 20 game was a Wii game, which is Let's Tap. This is actually done by the dude that, I believe me, it's Sonic. Uh, I believe it was. It's either Sonic... Or it was someone that worked on Sonic's games. I think it was to do the main Sonic, but uh, it's that stupid game you put your Wii Remote down and you tap something, and the Wii Remote's supposed to move. So I fucking I don't have it. I thought, why not? Five bucks essentially, so why not? Um, yeah, it's a party game, but you tap the fucking table with your Wii Remote like a fucking retard. So yeah. Uh, I said five bucks, so. And 
I believe the other Wii game. Is there another Wii game? No. I had to make sure. Um, the other Wii game that's a part of the deal, which I've never seen this on Wii before, so I definitely grabbed it because I wanted to see what it's like. Um, that is Dragon Blade Wrath of Fire. Um, it's hack and slash by the looks of it. Uh, it looks really actually interesting to be. I'm going to be honest. Um, yeah. It's. I believe it's a hack and slash because. It's not an RPG, I know that. I've looked up, like, I believe a few videos, and it's a hack and slash uh, with no really RPG elements, so, yeah. Um, played five bucks for it. It's a part of the four for 20 thing, so really, really happy with that. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yep. Yeah. Just making sure that I didn't miss one. So now we're on to the Xbox 360 games. These two coming up were a part of the, you know, five for uh, four for twenty, and these were the last two a part of that deal. And after that, everything else was bought separately. So I bought Dead Rising Two, the alternate art, which is essentially the Hong Kong version. Uh, everything on Xbox I didn't want. It was games that I had on PS3. I had no interest in rebuying on Xbox since I had a. Uh, the Steelbook of Dead Rising 1 on X, uh, on Xbox, I thought, I'll buy Dead Rising 2 just to go with it, I suppose. And they have the Hong Kong version, which is the one with, uh, what's his fucking name? Um, it's not Frank, it's Chuck, that's right, and his daughter. And I thought, that's not the same cover as the normal one, so, Hong Kong, and I thought, yeah, okay, I'll buy it just for that. So, part of the deal, five bucks. Um, it's the same on the back, just... The writing at the bottom starts to get, you know, Mandarin and Cantonese, plus English, of course. Uh, yeah. And the final game I got for the 4 for 20 is Xbox again, of course. The Bonk uh, Conspiracy. This is the limited edition, which if you buy it, it comes with the DVD. And I said to the person, is the DVD with it? Yep. <laughs> um, so, I thought, okay, you know what? Have it for a collector's item, I suppose. I've got the movie anyway on Blu-ray. Uh, I got the game on PS3. Just to have on Xbox with the collector's limited thing with the DVD that's there with it, so why not? As I said, there's nothing on Xbox I wanted anyway, so, yeah. That flare is annoying me. Uh, yeah. Five bucks, four for twenty thing. That's everything for the 4 for 20. Everything else, as I said, I've bought individually. So up next is the last Xbox game I got. And it's one of the Final Fantasies that I bought off my friend. That is 11's add-ons with 11. And you're probably thinking, so? It's still sealed. It was never opened. He says... He had it on our PC. He never opened his Xbox version. He didn't have the PS2 version, which I fucking would have grabbed. But, uh, so it comes with 11, Rise of Zillarat, Chains of Promethea, Treasures of Out Urgan, and, yeah. I believe that's all the add-ons. I could be wrong, but, yeah. Um, I never played 11. <laughs> um, I played 14, but I never played 11. So, yeah, I have a sealed copy of 11. I bought just to have it, says he sold it to me. He sold it for 20 bucks because he says it's, you know, can't play the game anymore. It's just more or less collector's item. 20 bucks. I was happy to pay that, uh, pay that sorry. Uh, I said to him, do you have the PS2 version? He says, no, I've never owned the PS2 versions. And I was like, I want to grab that off you. <laughs> um, but yeah, 20 bucks for that. Uh, we have two PS2 games. These weren't Final Fantasy. <laughs> I was say anything. Uh, I fucking hate stickers. So I got this for a dollar. That is the bouncer with the fucking annoying sticker in the top corner. Um, I've never played it, but I've watched Devil play it. He, I believe he got this with his PlayStation. Um, I've never played it. Uh, to me, it just looks meh. Uh, but I don't have it. Paid a dollar for it. Thought, why not? So, yeah, if you can see that there, if you want to pause it, 
I know a lot of people actually do want this remastered, so. But I just don't really care for it. But, yeah. Paid a dollar. Last PS2 game I got was a random pickup in the chari not charity shop, but the cash converters kind of thing. Uh, that is World War II Soldier. This is a first person shooter. Uh, I believe you play as an American. Yes, you do. As fucking usual. Uh, yeah. It looks really low budget, shitty, but it's a PS2 game. Uh, actually, graphically, it looks really. It looks on par with something like Time Splitters 1, which was a launch title, which I believe this came out. This came out the same year Time Splitters 3 came out, so yeah. Um, if you can get that there, uh, paid a dollar for this too, so, hmm. looks alright, I mean, I can't complain for a dollar, I mean, anything else might have been, you know, taking the fucking piss, but, yeah, I mean, I'll, yeah, cool. So, obviously, you know, I've got PS4 games, that so happens every, uh, month, so, just move these. Um, first off, I finally got it. I kept forgetting that I didn't have it. That is the Kingdom Hearts collection of 1 and 2 with, uh, Breath of Sleep. The, oh, that's the card game I was saying about earlier. The, uh, Reach in Memories. Uh, it comes with the cinematics of 358 Days Over 2. I don't know why they just didn't have the game on there. And they did the same with Recoded, which was a 3DS one, so... Uh, I essentially bought this for one. One's my favourite, and one's is the only Kingdom Hearts I really enjoyed, to be honest. Where if I sleep wasn't bad, but... Um, yeah. I know they released them separately on PS4. Like, on disc. Like, you buy one on disc, two on disc separately. And I thought, fuck that, I want the collection, so I don't have to buy them separately and end up having to pay too much. So I got this in the, uh, second-hand store, and I actually paid 20 bucks for it. So, that's... That's fucking good, to be honest, so... Yeah. I don't know if I'll play Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and all that there anytime soon, so... Because I... I re well, recently, but I played Kingdom Hearts 1 a few years back on the PS3 remastered, so... Yeah. I don't know, I might play it... soon. <laughs> um... But yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, I bought this this month. Fuck. Um... <laughs> so... I bought CTR Nitro Fuel Racing. <sighs> I paid 50 bucks for it. I don't like it. I love the PS1 version. It feels right when racing. This doesn't feel right. It's very unresponsive at some times. The drifting can suck my fucking balls. It doesn't work as well. Um, graphically, it looks good. I mean, sure. I mean, the company that did the remake does good jobs on remakes in terms of graphics. Uh... Don't like it. I really don't like it. I think this is a worse botch than what the first Crash Bandicoot was on their remaster or trilogy. On the uh, trilogy because they, you know, the whole jumping thing. It's fucking terrible. I I wasted fifty bucks on this. I'm fucking raging. But yeah, um, there's the back. Oh, and by the way, um. There's microtransactions in it. So. Fuck it. 50 bucks. Fucking pissed. Um, this I did want. I was hard, very hard to find this game on PS4. And I actually find it for $35. So I grabbed it as soon as I could. That is Super Bomberman R. This was a Switch launch title exclusively to the Switch. And they re-released it for PS4, Xbox, and PC. And I always wanted it on PC, uh, PS4. So, lo and behold, uh, it has content. I don't know what the fuck the content's for. Uh, actually, it doesn't even say what the content is. Ah! Oh, just looked at the fucking front. You get Ratchet and Clank. So, yeah. Um, but... All jokes aside, it looks great, and 35 bucks, I'm pretty happy with that, so, yeah. 
If anyone's played it on uh, Switch, let me know what it's like because I really do want to see what this is like. I just haven't got around to playing it. So, yeah. I don't know why the fuck Ratchet and Clank's in the game. Of all characters, they put him in it. Well, them in it, should I say. But yeah, um, what's up next? I, I bought it because I thought, why not? Uh, yeah, hey, fuck. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Bought the steel book. So. That's the front. And. That is the middle. It's terrible. <laughs> um, I haven't played the game. Fuck, I haven't even played the other Tomb Raider game on PS4. I played the uh, PS3 remastered one, because I actually really enjoyed that game on PS3, despite the problems I had with it. Um, but I bought this because I actually didn't have it. $25 I paid for it, so that's pretty good considering it's the Steelbook one. Um, doesn't have the art cards, which I'm fucking pissed, but... I, Steelbook's fine enough for me. It's in really good condition, the sleeve. So, I'm all happy with that. I heard the game's fucking terrible, though. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, this I did want. I knew they did release it, but it was actually quite expensive when it first launched and became quite hard to get. That is the Unravel collection. Comes with one and two. Um, I really... I've never played the first one, and the second one looked amazing when I saw it at E3, and I thought, fuck, I want to play these games. Then they announced that games were coming to PS4 and Xbox and all that there on disc, so... I waited. <laughs> um, came out, it was like 60 bucks when it launched, and I'm the fuck, I'm not paying that. Um, so I waited. Got it for 20 bucks. <laughs> um, so I can't complain now, it's like 10 bucks a game, so... If you can see that without the fucking shitty reflection. But, yeah. I had a lot of good things about them, so I'm really looking forward to playing it. Um, up next we have... A game that I actually bought like a few days ago. <laughs> um, so I bought the Fist of the North Star game on the PS4. And if you're wondering why the cover is different, it's inverted, and I think it looks amazing. Like, there's the inverted cover. Um, and then I'll show you what the normal one is. You get stickers that says Fu and uh, Hidebu. Weebu. Um, so you get that. DLC, not that I give two fucks about DLC at this point, um, then you get the normal, it's the normal cover, uh, it's supposed to be like Yakuza, but Fist of the North Star, which I fucking love Fist of the North Star, I like Yakuza when they don't release 400 versions of it every year, so, yeah, um, I'm actually really looking forward to this because... I need to play a good anime game after the one that's coming up. Um, so yeah, paid $39 for this. And I was like, fuck, that's not bad. That's pretty good. It was like I said to them, why is it so cheap? They got too many in. I was like, typical Sega. So, $39 brand new. Hence why the stickers are still there. Um, and the DLC, which as I said, I don't really give two shits about the DLC. The very cover looks fucking amazing. Uh... As I said, that is the inverted cover. I love that cover. Um, so yeah, $39. Speaking of Yakuza, uh, I finally got me uh, hands on Yakuza 2 Steelbook. Um, I have one Steelbook on PS4. I, I thought, I want two, I'm not paying 80 bucks for it. They dropped it to $39. So <laughs> I just went, yep, I'm buying it. So... It's one side. It's actually pretty nice looking. And there's the middle. I don't really like the middle. I think they could have done a better job. But the actual steel book itself, like looking at it from like the front, is really nice. So I've played Yakuza 2 before on PS2. I had it on PS2, but Devil really wanted it, and 
I traded it to him. Um, so yeah, I bought Yakuza 2 on PS4. So now I have 1 and 2 Steelbook on PS4, and I have 4 Steelbook on PS3. So, yeah. And yes, I am aware of Yakuza's collection on PS4, where they've censored 3. I'm fucking pissed about that, because Yakuza 3 is the best in the series, I don't care what anyone says. So, the last PS4 game is fucking terrible. Uh, I said it was an anime game, so for anyone that doesn't know, it's fucking terrible. Don't bother looking into it. That's Jump Force. I was really excited that it had, like, the likes of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Saint Seiya, Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh, I don't know why, um, you know, Bleach, all that there in the game, because obviously, you know, you've got Goku, uh, Luffy and Naruto on the front. The character customization is pretty good, but it's shit, if that makes any sense. It's, should have been better. Sometimes graphically this is a very good looking game and then other times it looks like a fucking PS3 game. Um, you fight characters that are DLC. So, a bit fucking stingy of Bandai. Um, example, Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, you also fight, I believe the other DLC character is from... My Hero Academia or something, or Yu Yakusho. It's one of the two the, uh, the person's from, but they're DLC. Um, it's fucking terrible. I paid 40 bucks for this. Fucking terrible. <laughs> um, so, there's the back. Don't let it fool you. Probably looking at the back going, oh, it doesn't look that bad. No, it's that bad. Um, you can see the characters that they advertise on the back. Oh, and some characters are, let's just say, better than others. Like, some are just fucking broke. Unfairly overpowered compared to some other characters. So, yeah. Fucking terrible. Um, so, I did say there was one more uh, Final Fantasy game that I bought off my mate. So, I bought a collector's edition. I paid 150 for it. And the reason is it's still sealed and it's one that I wanted day one and I could never get it was one that I wanted went to get it sold out completely on all systems PS4 and Xbox one and I could never get it and I've never been able to get it since hell I can't even get the steel book of the game never mind the actual collector's edition um, so I got it off him for 150 that is type zero this is the collector's edition that comes with the golden steel book which I actually prefer the other steel book if you buy the normal limited edition. The game, the soundtrack, uh, five tarot cards, a manga, and 80 page artwork, and a demo, which the demo came with my fucking version anyway, so yeah. Um, there's the back. If I can stand up there because it's quite a elongated box considering thing, but yeah. It's, uh, I'm going to be honest, it's in my top five favorite Final Fantasy games. I fucking love this game, hence I got the platinum to it. Uh, according to Dreamcast guy, it's, it's fucking worse than 13, apparently. But, I mean, this is the same guy that thinks 7 is a masterpiece, but what can you do? Um, so yeah, and by the way, all steel books are different in different regions. The UK version has a different steel book than what the Australian version has. The American version has a different steel book, and I believe the Japanese also got a different one as well. So just keep that in mind if you're buying the game yourself and you don't get the steel book you want. Uh, I've seen people sell the individual items for fucking bullshit prices, like the manga goes for like eighty bucks, and you just like fuck right off. Um, so yeah. 150 for this. It's never going to get opened because I've obviously got the game on you know PlayStation or uh, PS4 already. So really happy I got that. Love Type Zero. <laughs> uh, yeah, my favorite Final Fantasy never got a collector's edition though. So yeah, I would have that. I wouldn't give fuck how much I had to pay for, and I'd buy it.
So, and the last item I have is a poster. Can't open it because I'm taking it to get it laminated in a couple of days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the poster that I've got it. Tell you how much it is, and then in the next pickup video, I'm going to show you what it's like when it's laminated. So it's in its uh, you know wrap. It's a Legend of Zelda poster, but it has like all different links on it. So I you could probably search on Google, but I paid fifteen for it, so you'll see it when it gets laminated, and you'll enjoy it because I think it looks amazing. So yeah, that is everything. Um, best pickup of the month. Well, I to me it's Type Zero, but that's because it's a fucking great game, and I've played it already. As I said, there's some of these I've played, but if it wasn't Type Zero, I'd honestly have to say it's Final Fantasy to City. <laughs> I just down two games in general. Yeah, so that is everything I got, guys. Let us know what you think is the best pickup or the best item of the month. And I will be doing some, I'll probably try to do a playthrough of 8-Bit Army, see what you think of that. But as I said, we'll see how it goes. I am getting ready to do another top 15 video, or 20, 5 runner up 15, you know, RPG videos. It's going to be an RPG video. So hopefully you watch that and at least let us know what you think about that. So. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Private Mittens. Take care and see you later. Bye.